<clears throat> so I've got this assembled, and I've got lots of holes for fasteners, but I don't have any fasteners put in right now. Right? See that? So look across my ribbon. Are there anything there that looks like they might be able to help me? Smart fasteners. So that does. But it might take a long time. Ah, okay. I'm going to pick that hole and hit add. Sweet. If I go to click on this and tell it to be transparent, I can see the length of that hole. So I go in and edit it. It picked what size it was. How do you know what size that hole is? Or that bolt is? It's magic. Because I used the hole wizard when I made that hole. And the hole wizard, I told it what size it was. Right? So it looked through and, oh, yeah, that's what it is. That's why we use the hole wizard. So that it can do magic stuff. <laughs> what about set screws? Not done yet. <laughs> you, can, you can do the whole wizard for set screws too. So right now that's a socket head cap screw, right? Okay. Is that what screw I want? I don't know. Is it? Maybe I want a pan head, right? Okay. So I'm going to click right here under fastener, right click, and change. So I want it to be a machine screw, pan head with Phillips. There it goes. Oh, that's cool. God, that's hard. And if I wanted to, let's say I want to add a washer to it. There you go. There's a regular washer. I'll put a lock on there also. Just for giggles. I want to make sure this doesn't pop off. And then I'll say okay. And I could have kept adding all the different holes on the whole thing if I wanted to. What about roll pins and stuff? I could have also gone in here and just said populate all and I would have found all the holes in the whole drawing and put fasteners in all of them. Hit <laughs> five holes in one though. <laughs> but I mean that would have put fasteners in these holes and that hole. And so and like through the middle of here, which I don't want, so I just like to pick them. And then add each one by itself. So even though they're the same hole, if they're the same hole, you can just click. If it was both put in with the same hole command, mm -hmm. it'll pick both of them. Okay. Um, ones that you don't, that won't do was like down here. I did half this, and I mirror. I did this half, and I mirrored it. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna like that. That's not gonna like that. So I pick that one. I add it. It's only gonna pick this other one here. And if I pick this one, it wouldn't, oh, see, there, that wasn't a hole. So Did you make that? Pick the one you And so it picked the whole part. So you had two groups. So I'm just going to delete that group because I don't want holes going there. I want those, though. And I'll bring that up a little bit more. Make sure it goes through here. And I'll say OK. Right? You only need it to one of them. But now I don't have holes, screws there. How do you think I can get those screws there? You gotta put them in and use it. Copy them. Copy them, right? So if I go over here, so that's the first one. Here's these one, these two. Just click on it, drag it out. Hold control, drag it out. Now I've got a new one over here. Now I can just control, drag it out again. Then I can just make. mirror, you just copy back in and then constrain it real easy. Most people use a mirror that you think they you know, figure it out. What was that? So people use a mirror all the time and you think they'd fix that. Yeah, it's just part of how the command works is it looks for holes, but that one wasn't made with the hole command. 
So it's the same as if I just extruded a hole? Yeah, but if you, you know, go to the hole wizard and change it, it won't it change the mirror half too? Yeah, because that's mirroring the whole part. Mm -hmm. And I mirrored the part, I didn't mirror the feature. Uh, if I would mirrored the feature, it might have been different. So you just mirrored half the part, and then you put the holes in afterwards? Yeah, or I could have done that. So, but was that really that hard just to copy it and put no. it and constrain it again? Yeah. An extra four clicks? All you did is put them in and made them back? Look, four clicks and that up. <laughs> so, four turned to 40. Off the transparency is. And there's my screws. Okay? If you have it going through and coming out the other side, then you can put nuts and stuff on the other side also. You're not stuck to just that top. And if I decide I don't want this stuff up here, I can just go back to this fastener group um, and edit. If your washer's old. And I'll just take that off. Update or nothing? When you do that? No. It's, it's doing it. What is it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it took off one washer, but I ended up updating to get rid of the second one. There it is, just the. So that might be something that you want to do to, to make it easier for yourself. Yeah. You better you want to add a pan or you better kind of make um, the screen. <laughs> yeah. So if we go to the toolbox. So if you go to um, toolbox. You go to office products, turn on the toolbox, and then you can just go to that this little book library thing. Toolbox, NC inch. Pins, all pins. So there's roll pins, here's retaining rings, uh, bearings, here's bolts and stuff too. So how, stuff do you, how do you insert it? Okay. That's bigger than the whole thing. Scale. And you just tell what size you want. So I want it number 10, and then I want it to be that long. Is it threaded? It's a Hmm? So they have inch ones, they have anti metrics, they have ISO standards. They have specific ones like PIM. Got their catalog in the back, right? Or you don't know that yet. But, uh, PIM is like insert nuts and stuff. So I've got their catalog in the back. Their whole catalog is here also. So I want that, that insert nut. The whole time. I bet they paid a lot of money to get their stuff in there. Yeah. Hmm. So there's some nice pim nuts. Right size. I can just drop them into an assembly. So look at look at what's in the toolbox. They've got other stuff too, like touring ten bearings. This company's retaining rings. This company's Uniscrut. Bearings there. Yeah, we don't have that. Mail spec stuff. We don't have the office products. So. <coughs> okay. Questions? Does our student. Um, I don't know. Does your student version have the toolbox? Yeah. Uh, right here. Does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have the toolbox, but I though. don't think you have most of this other stuff. Oh, it says toolbox is not installed. Oh. <coughs> that might have been just that you didn't install it. 